Stand by all follow spots bumping in on your home targets. Go. I have probably said those words a million times in my life. No exaggeration. My name is Libby Gray. I'm a lighting designer and a director for bands, mostly large bands, mostly in rock and roll, although I've done a lot of R&B, sports entertainment, some alt, alt bands, a few other things like that. But I have been on the road for over 30 years, and I have made calling follow spots something of a specialty. And I've been encouraged by coworkers, the follow spot operators themselves, other crew members, friends, to create a small series of videos sharing what I know because I know a lot of stuff that until you've done this for 30, 35 years, you won't know. And our business has a terrible way of passing information on. It's very medieval. A lot of stuff comes in the uh, apprentice journeyman mastery form where you only learn something on the road, sitting next to or working next to somebody else who's done it better and longer. Just like I learned calling follow spots from better, older designers. I don't care where you've gone to school, I have a degree in theater arts. Don't care what you've learned in a classroom. That will not teach you the best cable management system for lowering the cables when they come in off the picks. It will not teach you how to load a truck and it will certainly not teach you how to call follow spots. Degrees won't help you there and that's what I'm here for. And if you don't know what a follow spot is and you've stumbled onto this video, you are so in the wrong place you should seek entertainment elsewhere. You are going to be very bored and probably confused. This video is designed for up and coming lighting directors, particularly if you're on your first big tour or you're with bar bands that are only starting to break big and suddenly instead of one light or two lights, you've got four or even six follow spots as an option in an amphitheater. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. I want you to know these are really valuable tools that will help your show enormously. So, that's what we're going to study. And I'm going to try and keep these short videos. I am not that comfortable in front of a screen. There's a reason I wear black and do my work in the dark in the back of a room. In fact, this is an incredibly uncomfortable experience, but I have been motivated by some friends uh, on the cusp of retiring who are doing great work to try and keep institutional knowledge alive. They are writing great books. They are sharing what they know. And in this post-pandemic world, I have watched people I have worked with for decades and know and love, dear friends, who should have still by all rights have had 10 or 15 years more in the business, walk away because their business went out, their lighting company went under, their sound company went under, they're broken, they're disheartened, they've come to realize they need something more reliable. There are a million reasons people are leaving. But rock and roll is losing its senior veteran roadies at an alarming rate. And this summer, the summer of 22, is likely to be both weird and slightly more dangerous because of the level of inexperienced people who are being hurled into our business because we got to have the people. All of these things have combined to encourage me to share what I know. And I'm hoping there's a market out there for people who would like to learn what I can share. And if there isn't, I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. Maybe I was wrong about this. So what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about basic how this is bad. I can't do a retake. I don't know how yet. Uh, we're going to talk basic communication skills, how you express yourself and the things you need to express. I'm not here to teach you lighting design. I'm not here to tell you what colors you should use, how many spots you need. None of that, that's all on you. What I'm here to tell you is how to get the most out of the human beings driving the lights in the back of the room, which brings us to the subject of why. There are, as many of you are familiar with, some of you may have used, automated systems, tracker systems, where a laptop or lighting console or other interface is used with a hybrid of technology, moving lights in the back of the room that simulate follow spots and operators who are still using a joystick, a motorized, like a motorcycle handle control. There are a million of these systems whereby we're trying to get away in the business from having a human being pushing around a 700 pound light in the back of the room. All well and good. I'm not opposed to follow me systems, but someday 
Your band will not be big enough for you to afford that. Even the biggest band in the world is going to play a festival where they have to use the equipment that is there, or they're going to play Saturday Night Live, or they are going to play a charity benefit, or a huge casino ballroom, or the annual convention at the AMA. Places where that resource is not there. And if you've allowed a tracking system for your follow spots to become a crutch, whereby you can't do it live, you are going to be up a creek without a paddle. You have to know how to call spots, even if you don't have to do it very much. I do it all the time. Personal preference, I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a system that is only a little bit better and more precise than my own dribble call when I could take those thousands of dollars and get a whole more load of lights in my rig. That's a budget concern for me. So, I want to teach you enough so that you're good, really good at calling spots, so that if you decide to use a follow me or a track system of some kind, it's a choice rather than something you have to do because you don't have the ability to do it live. Because that means you're choosing where to spend your budget money, which makes you a better designer. So, all that being said, I'm going to wrap up my intro here. You know who I am, what we're going to talk about, and why we're going to talk about it. And I will see you next time. Thanks.